weight. So strength when you are weak and weakness when you are strong. Don't let these white people shake you. Don't let these police officers shake you. White supremacists, Donald Trump. Don't let them. Come on. Come on now. Black power, I love y'all. Be safe out here. Peace out. Sisters, if you see your own people looting, you need to peacefully pull them aside. If you see anybody looting, period, they all need to be pulled to the side. It ain't just white people. I'm pissed off too, bro. People are dying. But you not loot and then misinterpret the message that black people are trying to send. Be, be smarter than that, bro. If you see some black people who are looting, even my black That's brothers, it. and ask them, hey, what do you need me to do? Because your intentions, although they may be trying to be good, they're not. And they're not pure. Take it upon yourself. If you have good intentions, because I'm sure some do, and you got good intentions, I'm sure some of y'all probably have a girlfriend that's black or a wife that's black or kids that's black, whatever the case may be, but you got good intention and you looting, I'm going to need you to go to a black, I need you to go to a black person. I need you to have a one-on-one -on -one with them and ask them, what do you need, what do they need you to do to make this protest successful? Don't and you go, here you go, taking it upon yourself to loot. Seriously? Seriously? If you have good intentions, but you loot, the fact that you're setting these people up, you're making them look bad. When they're trying to send a good message, our people have died. Our people are suffering. People to send a good message into this world. How fucking dare you? Who the fuck are you to just try to loot and take it upon yourself? Like, oh, black people going through too much. I'm going to take it upon myself and loot. What is wrong with you? Let me destroy buildings. Let me throw bricks. And then, crazily, stupidly, you got some black people who like, yeah, and then obliging themselves to throw a brick with you. Not even realizing it's a trap. Fuck the building. I don't even care about the building. And for it's those the who are fucking looting... For those who decided to take it upon themselves to try to be a representation for black people, fuck y'all. Because you're not being a representation for black people. What you're doing is you're destroying people. You are making it hard this for black peaceful protest. You better peacefully move them to the side because they don't need to be there. They messing it up for y'all. For your children. Fix that shit. The thing we need is other people making it bad for black people. I need my black sisters to be careful out here. I need my black brothers to be careful out here. It is terrible. This ain't the place. Do not let these white people, if you know they looting, you better stop them. I don't care. situation with George Floyd, this whole COVID-19, this whole protest, this whole people looting, it's a lot of stuff going on right now. Like, too fucking much going on. And How fucking stupid can you be? And I'm just waking up. I'm looking at shit. You know how when you wake up, you look at your phone? And you see stuff going on in your phone and you're like, what the fuck? Look, bro. I have a kid who's also black, who's a boy, that you now got to teach as a man how to protect himself from police officers because we afraid we're going to get killed by a white person. So while you on that all lives matter, that's like a house burning down, Right? It's like a house burning down and you saying all house matters while your house sitting there chilling. Mm -hmm. You're a black it. person in America and you've known your ancestors were enslaved and bound in chains and you're hoping and praying that you don't get that same animosity from 400,000 years ago. But then, and I'm going to make it clear to those who do not understand, for those who are the all lives matters in this group, you don't want your kids following through the same situations that our kids follow through. Look at it like this. If if you're going to protest, you got to do it for the right way. It's not the wrong. You're not going to do that. This is for black lives matter. This is for black people. This is for all black Latinas, black, black, black anybody. The person that's not here for your best interest during these protests, you don't need to let them there. Because I'm, I'm just waking up seeing videos of white people looting. And we're not asking them to do that. They making us look bad. 
But all I have to say is I will do my very best to give my support where it needs to be, regardless. Because even though I can't join the protest, I can do other ways so I can, that I support that I'm here. But do not. If you see I, I unfortunately cannot join a protest because hubby said I cannot because it's too dangerous, which I understand. I would more than anything love to be in a peaceful protest with you guys. But the husband has spoken. They want to see you. Uh, they want to see you in shambles. They want to see you a mess. They want to see you cracking so you can so they can prove to you who you are. Don't let these white people shake y'all. If you see a white person looting, if you see somebody writing on buildings, y'all need to make sure y'all cut that immediately. Like immediately, because they are setting y'all up. If we all peaceful protest, and I'm all for the peaceful protest, y'all need to make sure you don't got nobody trying to throw you under the bus. Seriously, these people do not care. These white supremacy people do not care about your life. Uh, I'm just waking up, so I'm a little bit groggy, but do not, do not let these white people get y'all twisted, okay?